Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby, in for Lauren Ashburn. President Trump calls the U.S. the envy of the entire world after new economic data is released. The White House says the president's pro-growth policies are, quote, defying the critics. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. President Trump says he's thrilled with the new numbers. He says that business and consumer confidence has reached historic highs, and the president believes the good news will keep coming. We've accomplished an economic turnaround of historic proportions. Numbers announced today show the U.S. economy surging in the second quarter to an annual growth rate of 4.1 percent GDP, the fastest pace since 2014. The president celebrating a report that indicates the longest positive job growth streak in history, an addition of 400,000 new manufacturing jobs and unemployment at the lowest level in almost 50 years. If economic growth continues at this pace, the United States economy will double in size more than 10 years faster than it would have under either President Bush or President Obama. The president says the growth is very sustainable, but private forecasters caution the numbers come from temporary factors. They say exporters are rushing to ship products out before other countries slap tariffs on the U.S. for imposing tariffs on imported steel and aluminum. Still, President Trump believes his policies are working. After he railed against other countries for unfair trade deals, he was happy to share this. The trade deficit, very dear to my heart because we've been ripped off by the world, has dropped by more than $50 billion. Though the narrowing trade deficit has added to economic growth, economists have expressed concern that a full-blown trade war between the United States and China, the world's two biggest economies, would hurt growth in both countries. White, White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.